Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today it is vlog day and we are back with our big weekend. And I have got good news and bad news. Good news, the sun is shining down. The bad news, my phone's not been charging all night. So this phone's on about 10%. I've got to go out in like an hour and it's all kicking off. So I'm going to charge you for like 20 minutes, get it bro, and then can properly start the day. So in a bit. Phone charged and now we can get a brew. And just like that, here we have it, a proper brew to start, proper mid weekend. And I tell you what, what's the plan today? I don't have a Scooby, but they're the best type of days. But I can't sit around for too long because first thing I gotta do is meet Katie. And Jesus Christ, we know we can't keep that woman waiting. Oh, after you. Let's go. Tell you what, what a day. While I do wait for Katie, if you guys do enjoy, smash that like button and do subscribe if you are new. Well, we found her and now we're gonna go spend some money in town. God, give me strength. <laughs> the third comic in the Mars Morales story and another Stephen King to add to the set. It'll be rude not to. You reckon you need that? <laughs> You finished? <laughs> right, we finished in town and I've been not only ditched with her bag, but we have literally found no shopping bags in any of the shops today. So we just crammed it all into our little bag. But um, finally, we can get home. It's way too bloody hot. And even more surprising, Jumper Boy's having the day off. We've gone for shorts and a t-shirt, what? Anyways, back home. Right, we're back home and Katie bought herself a Funko Pop. It wasn't me for once, she's done well. We're gonna open it up now. So it was a disco, gold disco Barbie Funko. Let's give it a look. Oh, okay. I like because she's already on a stand. Yeah, is it one of those things at the back, like standing up? Oh, what is that? Okay, gold disco Barbie in the Katie collection. Success. <laughs> well, anyway, we are home, which means brew time. Let's have it. Ah, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Ah, brutal. Right, so, shock horror, it is a Saturday and bloody hell, that sun's bright. So, shock horror, it is a Saturday. I am with Katie. We're going to the cinema. We are going to go watch, a, what's it called? Haunting, Haunting of Venice. Venice. That's the one. It's like an Agrafa Christie um, reimagined onto a movie, which could be quite interesting. Um, and obviously as we get near Halloween, we're going to go down the more haunted movie, scary movie type thing. So very interested to see how that goes. Of course, there'll be a movie re review in this video. Also, we are obviously with this gorgeous, gorgeous woman here. She is a Brighton fan. I am a United fan. Today, three o'clock, Manchester United, Old Trafford versus Brighton. I will put you through a table for you. <laughs> I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. And I don't care about the month being September. Honestly, just don't even ask. It's always Christmas in this house. But anyways, we have got like three hours until the big kickoff. So we're going to chill out for a bit. Probably have about 27 teas in that time. And um, yeah, I'll see you for match day. Right, just before the big game, we are 21 away from 3.7k. So, 21 kick-ups, you got to subscribe. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Hit that sub button. Hopefully you guys did hit that sub button. And if you are, massive thank you. You're a legend. So, somebody is clearly dressed apart, as you can see. Score prediction for the game. 2-1 to Brighton. The correct score will be 1-0 to United. 
Shut your face. <laughs> I will say, we've gone for a very interesting team. Of course, we've got 10 first team injuries and suspensions due to other situations. And of course, Sancho and Anthony. It's mad, but we've gone for a decent little 11 here. I can't lie. It looks like it's going to be Bruno Fernandes on the right side of the three with Rashford on the left. Scotty, Casa, and Ericsson in the middle. Listen, Scotty's been on amazing form for Scotland so far. Ericsson had a big part in that Arsenal goal, of course. Uh, Casemiro is Casemiro. The back four is good enough. I reckon Lindelof has probably been better than Varane this season. I've been loving Lindelof's performances, especially in the back off of last season. Hoyland, I need a goal from him today. He looked okay coming off the bench against Arsenal. 80-odd million pounds. Our main man has to perform today. A massive game against a fantastic Brighton side. I want a Hoyland goal, and I reckon we get it. 1-0 to Ten Hag's Reds continuing our year-long unbeaten record at home. Let's get that done, boys. See you at halftime. Oh, it's halftime. Oh, you know what? Apart from that, like, 15-minute spell, we've actually not been that bad. Rashford looks brilliant. Hoyland looks up for it. He's been a little bit quiet, but when he had his moment, he did take it, unfortunately, just off the pitch. It depends what type of angle you look at. One of the angles... It looks like it's clearly off. The other angle looks like it's on. So I'm not too mad about that. That's just VAR. But big second half. I don't know why I'm on the floor. Let's hope we can come back with a big three points because we can get some goals here. Brighton are playing very, very good on the counter though. Whew. Big 45. Full time, 3-1. That was shit. If there wasn't pressure on Ten Hag before that game, there certainly is now. Taking off Hoyland when he did. I know Hannibal came on and got the goal. It was just all over the place. We wasn't a team. We started off so, so well. And I thought, okay, we could be on the site here. But weird changes, weird. It was just a bit strange. I'm just going to try to forget about that because Katie behind me, obviously being a Brighton fan, God give me strength. It's going to be a long night. But before we go cinema, we're going to go out for some dinner, try and forget about the football. Hopefully, it's better against Bayern Munich on Wednesday. Oh, fuck me, man. Voila, we are here. Let's get some good grub. Well, that didn't end well. Um, they're not serving food because they don't have enough chefs or whatever it was for staff reasons. One of the biggest restaurant chains in West Sussex and they don't have enough staff. So on a Saturday evening, they're turning people away. But we're gonna head to town, get ourselves a Chinese because cinema, Chinese and football. Is that not just every channel? <laughs> Which means we got done in by Brian. We're gonna have to spend more money at the Chinese the day just gets better and better. <laughs> Let's go Jasmine's house, Jesus Christ. Get in my belly. Jasmine's house, you do not disappoint. We're gonna get some of this down us, then we're gonna quickly run out in like 20 minutes time to get to the cinema. Go watch The Haunting in Venice. I'm intrigued about it. My hopes for this movie aren't like sky high rocketing, but I'm excited that it could be a decent little movie. Um, what's your thoughts? Out of 10, early predictions, what do you reckon it's gonna be? I think it's gonna be a seven. You reckon it's gonna be those average that could be really good but nothing that you're gonna yeah. write home about type of thing yeah. well let's get this down us and then we're straight back out to the movies so we got locked out and we're trying to get back into the house because everyone else is still out so josh is climbing into his own house don't try this at home kids <laughs> don't break and enter kids i'm right on breaking the bloody <laughs> oh. i can't believe we've been locked out just want to eat my dinner Hello, Dodo. <laughs> Don't fight me. <laughs> Hi, Daisy. <laughs> it's all going on. The extent this guy goes to just to get his dinner. <laughs> Hi, Coco. <laughs> They're all there. They're all up. Oh, bye. Well, that was bloody eventful. Jesus Christ. Right, we're going to sit down and eat as much of this as we can before we go out, like I said. So, to give you a rundown, we have got jumbo battered sausage, a fish cake, we've got some cheesy chips, we've also got some duck chow mein, and some sweet and sour chicken balls. Very good, very nice. And none of them are for you two. So, we've got some fish and chips here. We've got the cheesy chips, we've got the fish cake. I've already had the sausage. The Chinese is getting safe from match today tonight. However, it's not yours, darling. No. See this? This is human food. And if you don't leave, I'm going to turn you into a fish cake. No, no. 
Oh, she sees the fish. No. She sees the fish. <laughs> right, food down us to the cinema. Right, we are currently speed walking to the cinema because we've got two minutes until our show in. Now, I know there's adverts and all that, but you just want to get in there and get down, do you know what I mean? So, two minutes, let's go. Still speed walking. Um, someone just said, oh my God, he looks like Ali A. I mean, it's because I am Ali A, mate. <laughs> Little delay, no. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> right then, well, that was something. Um, very different movie to anything I'd normally watch. What do you reckon? Double L? Um, dub. Yeah? yeah? I don't know. I find it a weird one. I think it was very much you had to watch and listen, which you is fine. To think. It was definitely a thinker, and as you may know, I'm not exactly big brain. <laughs> Both our predictions were wrong on who we thought the killer was. I'm not going to say who it was because spoiler alert. But um, yeah, overall, out of 10. Six. Six, so you were guessing a seven earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say a five out of ten. It wasn't a sign card, watch loads and loads, but I'm happy I watched it. But the sky is dark, the time is late, and we have got to get home for a match of the day date. And of course, a Chinese. So, let's go. Finally back home. Now we can actually relax for a bit, chuck on a match of the day, get in a brew. It's all blessed. Match of the day is done and now it is time to get some good shy because Jesus Christ, what a day. United losing, Liverpool winning, the food not being served at the restaurant. Oh, I am now a Tottenham fan because Tottenham's going to win the Premier League and um, up the Spurs. <laughs> well, it's the next day. And if you're asking where I've been, I had to do a shop run to get some innocent, to get some grub and to get some drinks because I have got a bit of a kick about to get to. It will not be made into a video because to be honest with you, sometimes you just chill out with the lads. Nice kick about the boys with no phones, do you know what I mean? So obviously this is now a food review channel. So if you guys know what Percy Pigs are, Percy Pig like jammy dodgers, right? I've never tried it before. We're going to dunk in a proper brew made by my gorgeous mother. Chuck it in there. Mmm. <laughs> I told you. I told you they're amazing. Yes. <laughs> well, it is absolutely chucking it down, if you can hear that. I'm assuming you can. The football didn't happen, but we do have an innocent smoothie, and that is where we're going to end today's vlog. But if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys smash that like button. We are literally only 20 away from 3.7k. And like I set you guys that challenge, if we could hit 3.7, which like I said, is 20 subscribers away before next Friday, the 22nd of September, the day of release of early access for EAFC 24. We will be live. And if we hit that goal, we will be doing a live points giveaway for the brand new Ulmer team. So if you guys do enjoy, smash Smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, innocent if you're watching, take care and peace.